Hello everyone. Today we have this cheap LED power supply, 100 watts, 12 volts, 12 volts, 8.3 amps output. The guy brought it to me, said there is nothing on the output that we should check together. I haven't checked it before, so let's connect L N in here. It is not recommended to do. I'm doing it with isolating transformer. You shouldn't do this at home because if you do it with mains that would be really dangerous. So let's make it like this. Check. There is an green indicator in order to see whether we have anything at the output or not so I'm gonna turn on my power supply I turned it on and green LED is not glowing on the output we have nothing we have nothing you can see it and touching plus, yes, plus and minus let's see whether we have and we have 250 volts it's a little bit more because we have no load at the output if we load the power supply for example with 20, 30 watts that would be about 230 so you don't have to be <laughs> worried about that so it's not working as we checked now we should open this it has to be opened in a quick way but maybe not i need to remove all those screws in order to get the board this this so i think okay we remove this cover first together and quickly try to make it quickly not to waste your time and mine as well because time is precious our life is consists of time something is holding it I don't understand okay that's the board the switch is in the right position this one looks Kind of blackened. I don't like it. Hmm, strange. That's the diet bridge. The fuse. Fuse is good. I can see it. So probably. EA seven five O O C zero zero C. And I can feel some burnt smell, probably because this was heating too much. Maybe we've got something on the other side of the board. That is possible. So in order to remove the board, I will get it out, get this one out, and we'll see. But I'm gonna stop the video for now.
okay, I removed the screws. Actually, I thought that would be more of them. But only two were needed to remove. Always discharge the caps. Just like this. You can double check it with multimeter just to make sure because sometimes you can make a good connection. But honestly I don't see anything on this side. I thought maybe we've got some bad traces or something like this. This one looks fine to me on this side. This one is maybe blackened but those are also kind of blackened. And the smell is kind of burned. The power supply is cheap so I don't really know. Let's try to measure these caps first, so no voltage is present, which is good. Anyway, we have to make sure, and now I want to try to measure some capacitance. It's not a proper way to measure it on the board and it's not a proper way proper instrument for this but sometimes it is enough to see whether we have something or not so with this one we have this one we have one hundred almost two hundred which is good, which is good, with this one we also have, so, and 220, that's perfect, that's perfect, okay, now it's really starting to be interesting why it's not turning on I think there is no need to check those diets what should we check well in order not to waste your time as well I will try to measure everything of camera when I find the problem, I will show you. That would be the right choice to do. Okay, I checked everything, all the components. That was a tr really tricky one. There wasn't power on this controller. And I really was having not the good time with this. I removed this one chip, removed those transistors, checked them, checked resistors without removing them, but I checked it and only after that I decided to check those electrolytic caps. And uh, this one was supposed to be one microfarad. Oh, sorry. Now we are this precision tool made by well-known company. So as you can see, it has to be one micro, but now it has the capacitance 671, and we lost this quite a lot. So I found a used one, but with enough 
capacity and now we can check I turn it on and as you can see here we have 12 volts there is a 12 volts light bulb and 12 volts it is not what the fuck focus okay so that's it it's working that was a tricky one as I said but maybe somebody would find it useful so first of all we've got to check the electrolytics even these small ones even if they look like good because they cannot be bulged like those we should check those at first yes that's it thanks for watching please like the video and subscribe see you next time goodbye